Hello again and welcome back to The Front Row, a minor production of the First Congregational Church in South Peak and where our intent is to bring snippets from our Sunday morning message into your week. Do you remember a while back there was a news story about a woman who went through a drive through ordered a cup of coffee, proceeded to spill it in her lap, and then sued the establishment and won! Ever since then, every cup of coffee that's on paper anyway now has a, a warning label on it that says, Caution, contents may be hot. We're seeing warning labels pop up in the, pop up in the strangest of places, kind of speaking to, uh, wow, the relevant intelligence of our society, but I don't want to go down that road. My point is that have you ever been in a situation where you've seen something that appears to be dangerous? Somebody could kind of get hurt there and you've kind of had this phrase go through your head. Somebody should put a warning label on that. Well, that's kind of how I feel about this particular sermon topic. We've been going through the disciplines, the spiritual disciplines that is outlined by Richard Foster in his book, Celebration of Discipline. And the one that we are talking about today is a hot button topic for a couple different reasons. And I'm, I'm going to just borrow from my notes to make sure I get them right. But um, uh, the first reason that this particular discipline is so touchy is because it is outwardly visible to others. It, it, there is a manifestation of this spiritual discipline that everybody in your sphere of influence and exposure sees because it speaks to our lifestyles. Secondly, this particular discipline cuts deeply into and in direct opposition to our cultural norm. And thirdly, it is the discipline most subject to corruption, misuse, and temptation toward legalism. Those are all three pretty strong reasons that we need to tread lightly in this conversation. Because I don't want anyone to ever get this feeling that we're coming at it from some preachy, this is the way you need to live your life perspective. It really is intended to be an exposure to a discipline that it can be valuable and is valuable to every single one of us and that we're going to wrestle with probably for the remainder of our lives, but encourage us to lean into it and to, to grow in our wisdom and discernment and understanding, and then to apply it in our inner self and in our outer self. There's a lot going on here without any of it feeling like we've got some prescription that you, or mold that you need to follow or that I need to follow. That's not the message. The message isn't to step on toes or to, to punch anybody in the face but it can feel that way. That's why this conversation can be so delicate. So uh, as we're launching into our, our, uh, our front row conversations this week, I just want to put a warning label on it. Let's, let's have a, a spirit of openness and, and uh, uh, understanding between one another as we walk down this road. I hope you'll tune in. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye for now.